here, Black City. Hello, my needle drops. Anthony Fantano here, internet's busiest music nerd. Gonna do an album review. It actually came as a result of a comment. This review is actually a request from YouTube user Nice Ellis Brown, who said, Review Matthew Dear Black City, please. I do like that P word. It's irresistible. Politeness. So we're gonna take a look at the new Matthew Deer album, Black City. This thing even got the you're wrong, I'm right stamp of approval. So I figured, why not? Let's talk about it. For those who aren't familiar with Matthew Deer, he's an electronic musician and also one of the founders of the Ghostly International record label. Highly recommended. And this is his fourth LP. Now, what do you get on this album? I would just like to simply put it as dance music. Dance music, dance music, dance music. It don't get much simpler than that. Beats, synths, sound effects, and Matthew Deere's very low, chilly vocals. But I wouldn't say this LP blends into the gray with every other dance music album that I've heard thus far this year. And what makes it stand out is its mood, its atmosphere. Honestly, for dance music, it's pretty dark. It's like listening to neon lights and leather-bound pole dancers in a futuristic city where it's dark 24 hours a day. Not to mention everybody in this post-apocalyptic city is very sexy and dressed to the nines, kind of like a fashionista or something like that. I have to give it to Matthew Deere for kind of creating a sense of place on this album. I think I really wouldn't fit in in Black City, personally, but still seems like a pretty seductive setting. In terms of musical influences, this thing pulls from the early days of techno, the dancier side of post-punk disco music. There's some pretty ambient and shoegazy moments on this thing, too. It just subtly genre hops without breaking character. It's a feat in and of itself that the last song on this album, a very morose, very slow, very depressing track named Gem, doesn't feel in conflict with a track that is kind of a 180, a Little People, which is nine minutes long, and a total... My main gripes with this thing is that there's a lot of repetition on this album, though I would say that's mostly because Matthew Deere isn't really aiming for the headphones, isn't really aiming for the home stereo on this thing, but like I said earlier, the dance floor. So the repetition isn't necessarily a buzzkill, but for me what can be a total buzzkill on this thing are the lyrics. Words about monkeys, big black cars, big black mansion. It's okay, but I wouldn't say it's a problem every track suffers from, necessarily. I wasn't in love with every block in Black City, but there were still enough standout moments to make me want to give this thing a decent to strong seven. A lot of irresistible beats, lush electronics, memorable vocals. If you're in the market for an electronic album that is going to make you squirm uncomfortably in the club, then I would give you the go ahead and visit Black City as much as possible. Again, thank you to Nice Ellis Brown for the request. Uh, you guys let me know what you would like me to review next. And uh, let me know what you think of this LP. Did you love it? Did you hate it? And why? And what would you have scored it? Anthony Fantano, Matthew Deere, Black City, forever.